Sydney Colson here with Carolyn Peck, infamous reporter. She'll be covering our game tomorrow. Just wanted to ask you a few questions. You've been around long enough to see different Texas A&M teams. You were covering a lot of our games my senior year, and you got to see Vic Schaefer and his defensive coaching style and tenacity. And now we have Bob Starkey, who is similar in his own right. Um, different for me to watch, but tell me how you think his style can still contribute to this team, making it far in the tournament. When you look at the success that LSU had when Bob Starkey was coaching there, you know he is a defensive genius, mm -hmm. and he's a, he does a very good job of really looking at what the strengths are of other teams and making other teams uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And just like Vic Schaefer, that intensity is demanded no matter, no matter what team he's coaching for. Right. And so I see the same thing from Texas A&M. Um, watching this Texas A&M team this year, how do you think, compared to other teams that are left in the tournament, you see them finishing? What do you see that could make this team go far? And maybe what are some of the weaknesses that could keep them from moving on? Well, I think that the success in this tournament, as you know, is guard play. I mean, having you, Texas A&M, won a national championship. And I think that Texas A&M will really go uh, as far as their guards go. And when you've got a sophomore point guard who in the last six games is averaging double digits and assists, she's getting the basketball in the right places at the right time. See Will and See Wall are, are doing a tremendous job as well on the perimeter. But I think also that's what's going to be key for Texas A&M is Carla Gilbert and staying out of foul trouble because when you can couple her size and what she's done and her improvement offensively mm -hmm. to go along with the guards, it makes Texas A&M very dangerous. It, it can be problematic when, when important and key players get in foul trouble. You were there to watch me do it. <laughs> Thank you for your time though. Thanks.